Hi, Nicola Askham here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is fairly straightforward. It's, do I really need a data governance manager? Now, I've been asked this a few times recently by clients and prospective clients, and it made me think that this is probably something that is, you know, perhaps concerning a number of people out there. So it would be a good topic for one of these videos. Now, it's actually quite a simple answer. And that answer is, yes, I think you do. Now, I think there's a lot of organizations that are finally seeing the value in embracing data governance, but some of them are believing that it can be approached as a project, something that is once and done, and therefore you only need temporary resource to actually get it designed and implemented. In my experience, that isn't the case. Now, absolutely, in the early phases of a data governance initiative, you are going to need more resource, both centrally to design and implement the framework, but also you're going to need more time of your business users that are going to play a role in your data governance framework. And it makes sense that the more resource you have centrally to support it, the quicker you can go, the more you can get done. So I do think that having um, additional contract resource can be a really useful way to supplement and, and move on your data governance initiative in the early stages. But you shouldn't think that you can hire someone for, I don't know, six months to a year and then let them go and that data governance will just happily continue on its own. Um, in my experience, you need somebody whose responsibility it is to focus and support that data governance framework and make sure that it continues to progress and evolve as your organization evolves. And I can tell you from my experience back in the days when I used to act as an interim data governance manager, in those instances where a permanent data governance wasn't hired to replace me, or I handed over the data governance work to a team who had another function and focus already, that within months I was getting feedback that the data governance framework had started to falter and fail because there was nobody responsible for making sure it happened. So, my answer to that question is a very straightforward, yes, you really do need a data governance manager or data governance lead or whatever you want to call it, but you need somebody who, as you transition into business as usual, is responsible for your data governance framework going forwards. So I hope that's helped. If you have found this helpful and useful, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by sharing this video on your chosen um, social media platform. I would really appreciate your help with that. And don't forget, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in one of these future videos, please just email them to questions at nicolaraskam.com.